my trip to Africa. First, I visited Cape Town, South Africa. This is an aerial photo of Cape Town. Cape Town has its own unique mix of ingenious music called Gahuga. Next, I visited the Castle of Good Hope. The Castle of Good Hope is the oldest existing colonial building in South Africa. Next, I hit up Camps Bay. For most of the 1800s, Camps Bay was undeveloped. Lord Charles Somerset used the area for hunting and used a roundhouse as his own lodge. Next, I visited the Cable Mountain. The, cable, the cable's car's base is filled with water and serves as a ballast in windy conditions. Next, I visit, visited Two Oceans Aquarium. The aquarium was opened on the 13th of November, 1995. The enchantment of this particular aquarium is due to its location, where the Indian and Atlantic Ocean meet. Next, I visited the famous Kalahari Desert. The Kalahari Desert is a large, sem semi-arid, sandy savanna in southern Africa, standing 900,000 square kilometers. Covering much of Bot Botswana, parts of Nambia, and regions of South Africa. The Kalahari Desert is home to many big cats, including lions, cheetahs, and leopards. The Kalahari Trans Frontier Park is a vast wildlife preserve in the Kalahari Desert. It covers the region of Botswana and South Africa, bordering Nambia to the west. Next, I visited Chebi National Park. Chebi National Park in northern Bar Botswana has one of the largest concentrations of game in Africa. First, I saw the elephant. The elephant can live up to be 70 years old. Next, I saw the hippo. They are considered the second largest land animal on Earth. Next, I saw the giraffe. When giraffes walk, they move both legs on one side of their body and both legs on the other side. This is unique to giraffes. Next, I saw the lion. Male lions defend the pride's territory while females do most of the hunting. Next, I saw the cheetah. Cheetahs knock their prey to the ground and kill with a suffocating bite to the neck. They must eat quickly before they lose the kills to other bigger or more aggressive carnivores. And finally, I saw the gazelle. There are 19 species of gazelle. Smaller species such as the Speaks gazelle and Thompson's gazelle are only 20 to 43 inches at, shoulder, at the shoulder. Next, I visited Victoria Falls. Spray from the falls make the river Zambezi Rainforest the only place that receives rainfall 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. While I was there, I went rafting and a lion encounter. Next, I visited Cabell Forest National Park. Cabell is one of the last remaining expanses to contain both lowland and maintain forests. Next, I visited Nairobi, Kenya.
It was originally named Awasune Berry, but the British had difficulty pronouncing it. Instead, coined their own name, Narabi. Narabi. This is a very poor and unhealthy community. Here is a house a wealthy person would live in. Next, I visited Magad Magadishu, Somalia. Magadishu is a very unsafe place to be. There, has, there has been many battles in Magadishu. Finally, I visited Timbuktu, Mali. Timbuktu was an intellectual, spiritual capital and had a center for production of Islam throughout Africa in the 15th and 16th centuries.